bring you OGSMC. He's in the red trunks and he is playing Protoss to the south of the Terminus SE versus his opponent, who is currently trailing one game in this best of three series, currently still in the group stages of ESWC. It is the one and only Murs from Team Dignitas. He is playing Terran. He is in the blue trunks to the north. I think I'm doing a tasteless right here as soon as my voice is starting to get a little bit hoarse. Nay. Oh well, we'll deal with it. Just need to keep hydrated. Lack of sleep not helping. So, apparently it's a bad idea to one racks fast expand with no gas if you happen to be going up against OGSMC. Because he will find you, he will kill you. He has acquired a very specific set of skills over a long career. Skills that make him a nightmare for people like Murs. That is the way that it is, folks. The Kratos Protoss is hungry for blood. Murs is now walling off in fear. What can I say? He's not going to be able to one racks fast expand. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. No, no, no. Simple three gate pressure from OGS MC. Not even a four gate all in. Not even required. It's poking in there. Went into an expansion. I mean, the amount of probes that he had by that point was just absolutely ridiculous. I'd like to say that that was close, but it wasn't. <laughs> it would not be fair to anyone to say that it was. It was a bit messy. Well, let's see what Murs can uh, pull off as opposed to that this time around. MC, what you doing? MC going Nexus first. Confidence, ladies and gentlemen, right there. And perhaps playing mind games with his opponent. Murs is going to have to scout and find that, see if he can perhaps uh, do a little bit of pressure of his own, but... Not scouting the right area just yet. GSTL, GSTL, Terminus SE, a very large map. A lot of jogging required. Looks like he's going to spot him in the second location. More racks required. Oh, very nice pickup there by Murs. Murs known for high APM, incidentally. He's going for one racks fast expand again. This time, that is, of course, the correct choice, as opposed to last time, since that's a Nexus first decision there from MC. I believe that... Perhaps Merz is making something of an assumption, believing that it needs Nexus first. But it is. So, no pressure will be coming in from OGS MC for a little while. No possibility of cannon rushing either, since no forge put down. So, he doesn't have to concern himself with that. MC doesn't know about the expansion. It was should, at least the probe was shut down very nicely there by Merz. Merz known for his high APM. It, Admittedly, he is kind of chilling at the moment, as you can see. But yeah, he was known for his high APM, and as a result, his stutter step is quite good. He's incredibly quick. He can catch people on the hop there. Takes a little bit of skill, in fact, to kill a probe with a single marine. Bunker going down right there. This is a much better map for these fast expand options, simply because of this narrower choke point right here, and an easy lead into the third. MC knows that. Murs knows that, so I expect something of a longer macro game. Murs is able to get into the swing of things. He's got a good shot at beating MC in the second game. Because he was not able to respond well to that pressure early on. Two barracks right now for Murs and double refineries. Only two in each gas. That is a deliberate decision from Murs. He doesn't make those kind of mistakes. So he knows exactly what he needs in order to make this work. Single tech lab, single reactor, and a, another scout going out, this time with a zealot just to poke at it. Second zealot coming in as well to follow this one up. Only a single gateway there by Murs. Admittedly, those zealots are not enough really to do any meaningful damage. That is spotted there by MC. He's aware that there's a full bunker there, so he doesn't want to be anywhere near it. Murs should be fairly happy with his economic situation at this point. Three more gateways to follow that one up for MC. We'll see what he decides to turn this into. He is mining gas from both assimilators. Certainly possible for six gate pressure or any kind of tech, really, at this point. If he's gone for any kind of tech heavy build, however, I'd expect him to uh, grab two more assimilators very, very shortly. So keep an eye on how much Vespin has got. If he stays on two, there's certainly the possibility of simply more gateway pressure or another expansion coming up in the not-so-distant future. That would allow him to build an awful lot of sentries, which is what he's currently doing. You'll see his mineral count is starting to get quite high. Patrolling, trying to get rid of that scout. Now I see a little bit of red on the map. That means there's a proxy pylon over there. 
couple of gateways worth of pressure, four in total. The thing is, that's not going to be able to break that setup right here. Marauders are on the field this time around. We do have Stim on the way as well. Stim and Combat Shield. Three barracks. Nicely done right there. A lot of sentries on the way out for MC. Huge amount, in fact. We're looking at six total. There's that expansion I said was coming. Simply because he was spending mostly gas as opposed to minerals. No problem to uh, grab that expansion. I'd also expect to see that from Murs anytime. Ghost Academy, quite early coming up for one and only. I've said it. I'll stop saying it in future. Murs. Eight centuries. Mmm. That makes repairing things somewhat difficult. Admittedly, if you don't have a lot of firepower to begin with, it's not necessarily all that helpful. It's a good decision there to go the Ghost Academy there for Murs. I think MC's going to get a nasty shock if he decides to rush a Ghost out. If he's able to get an EMP, then that's going to be a wonderful situation for him. The question is, does he have the gas for it? He does. He could very well build a Ghost right now. It would be wise to do so. There you go. Two Ghosts on the way up for Murs. Admittedly, he does not have the reactor upgrade. No Mobius reactor there. So it's going to be about 25 seconds once these ghosts are built before they can EMP. If MC pushes before that, then that's going to be dangerous. Huck style right now. 11 sentries. 9 zealots. It's a dangerous force. That's the army supply count. Murs has the home ground defensive advantage, but does not have... Does he have stim? Yes, he does. Here comes everything off the line to try and defend against that. He can't repair it. Perfect force fields. But there you go, he's thrown back nonetheless. A couple of mules managed to sneak in there. Ghosts are now on the field. Even without EMP, they're still going to do a ton of damage to those sentries. All of the zealots have been picked off, bar that one lucky one over there. Off they go. Nicely held there by Murs. Murs getting a little bit paranoid, he needs to get back to mining right there. Currently, the worker count is about equal, with two mules equaling up 54 probes to 48 SCVs. Factory on the way up for Murs as well. No doubt looking for Marine Marauder Medivac Ghost. Plus one upgrade now complete. And now we have to see what MC decides to do. He's taken a gas there. He's also taken both these gas there. Whoa, that's a double Twilight Council. What? <laughs> double Twilight Council from MC. Obviously for double upgrades, there's no other purpose of having that. So, are we looking at Blink Stalker and Charging Zealot simultaneously? It looks like we might be. That's going to throw everybody for a loop. That's the only way these, build these buildings make any sense. Unless MC... No, there you go. It is going to be quad upgrades. Chrono boosting everything he possibly can. Double Forge, double Twilight Council. Holy... Interesting. And dangerous. That would be quite the timing attack if that were to strike. There's the scan landing on one Twilight Council, but not the other. I don't think he expects both of these to come barreling down his throat, and indeed, who would? Right now, Murs getting a little bit of pressure on. I'm going to try and push his way through there. A hallucinated Phoenix moves out, just able to scout that. Murs pushes in there with a couple of ghosts. This could get a bit messy. Those zealots are very vulnerable to being EMP'd. The majority of their HP, of course, is shields. And there's a lot of energy to consider there as well. Let's see how good Merz's EMPs are. They are very good. Big war pit coming in right now. There's the divide of the force fields. A lot of firepower coming in from the back. Those guys at the front being sliced to pieces. Merz doesn't quite have what he needs to break through this. He's able to do quite a bit of damage. Decent micro going on here. But he's not going to be able to smash this force or do any real economic harassment. MC crushing that one right now. A little bit of harassment going forward. And uh, that Stalker will live to fight another day. That's the units lost. They are about equal. Counterattack coming in right now from MC. And this is going to be Blink Stalker and Charging Zealot. Two bunkers not up in time right now. They're going to have to be incredibly fast to hold this. We do at least have Medivacs on the way. They're not here yet, though. This could be very well-timed. Incredibly well-timed. Ghost torn apart. Merz can't get out of there quick enough. This is going to be really hard to hold. Incredibly hard. At least he's going to get those bunkers up, but can he fill them? In come the Charging Zealots right now. The SCVs simply fodder for OGSMC. The bunkers not filled up. One bunker down. Second bunker down. There's the blink by MC, and I think this might be game over for Merz once again. Elms MC looking like absolute... Complete and total 
dumb.